she didn't say anything. She couldn't tell what the result was from my response. I started crying and she looked at me and I said, I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh, I totally remember this moment. I can picture. Hey guys, it's Candy. Welcome back to Our Family Nest. So I had mentioned this to you guys in a previous video that I dug out my old diaries. Um, these are all, I guess you could kind of call them pregnancy diaries because they were all started um, either when I was trying to get pregnant or when I was pregnant. And I have Andrews, Blake, Chase, and Carly's. And I had asked you guys in a poll in a previous vlog if you wanted me to read these and share them with you. We'll see how interesting this is. I haven't even read them in ever. I've never gone back and read any of them other than when I opened it a little bit and showed you guys uh, like I said in the vlog the other day and a lot of you guys really wanted me to share these. I had said should I do it here on Candyland and I just decided managing one channel is enough work. I really don't want to relaunch Candyland and get into all that right now so I'm just gonna share this with you guys here on Our Family Nest and if you enjoy it you can keep coming back. If I get good feedback, I'll keep doing it. And um, if not, this was fun anyway. So I'm gonna try to do this without any editing. If I mess up, it kinda is what it is. Uh, we've been really keeping busy here during this uh, quarantine time. I wanna say thank you to so many of you who are purchasing things from our clothing boutique, Ivy and Sage. We've been keeping busy with that. We have, uh, I can't really see, but clothes back here on the floor. Um, and on the floor and a bin on the floor that um, we're doing a uh, shop Carly Reese on Instagram. We've been doing some, you know, like a little resale shop of some of Carly's um, secondhand clothes that she wants to sell. And um, I don't know, like we're all quarantined here together. We're grateful that we have each other. We're not completely bored out of our minds. But at the same time, I thought this would be no better time than any to do something like this where we pop open some old diaries and I don't know, what was my life back? Back in, this begins in 1994. I don't know if you really need to see the book while I share it, but anyways, it says Diary of Our First Child, Brian and Candy. I don't, do most of you guys know that Ken is not Andrew's dad? I feel like when I mentioned it last time, um, some people were like, what? Uh, cause some people have even said, oh, Andrew looks like Ken. And I, obviously, I mean, maybe he does, but it's, you know, like he's not his dad. Um, I had married my high school sweetheart and we got divorced when Andrew was a year old. So, um, there's going to be probably in the beginning of this, uh, during all these pregnancy posts and whatnot, a lot of references to Andrew's dad, Brian. So anyways, so December 18th, 1994. Andrew was born in October of 1995. So obviously this starts out before I was even pregnant. So first, how I received this book. I'm working at Sylvania Internal Medicine and we had a gift exchange. We didn't know who we were buying a gift for. It was really weird because I was just telling a friend at work that I would like a journal for when I get pregnant. I ended up getting this journal from Bettish. Uh, I had her last name listed, but I'll just omit that. I was very happy. Now let me think, 1994, I was born in 72, so I was 22 years old, just to give you guys a better reference in case you were sitting there trying to do the math and figure out how old was she when she was writing this. Um, uh, now for how you came into this world. Your dad and I were married on May 7th, 1994. We had a very big wedding with 300 guests. We both had always said we wanted two children. We, well, maybe I, better say I have always loved the names Ashley and Aaron. <laughs> Obviously that didn't stick. Uh, your father likes those names, but I was really the one to think of them. After we were married about six months, I started talking to your dad about having a baby. He was very unsure at first and said we should wait a while longer. We are both 22 years old right now. I didn't even have to say that. I should have just kept reading. Um, he always said we have plenty of time, but I kept on talking about it. It was the first week in December or the last of November that we both decided it was time to start trying. I have to say I'm a lot more anxious than your dad. I could be wrong, but I think he's a little scared. Your dad really loves cars a lot. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> 
because he still does. Um, if you happen to be a boy, I'm sure you will too, and you'll probably play hockey. If you're a girl, you might like gymnastics or dance, just like your mother. Your grandmother really gets excited about us having a baby. At first, a couple months ago, we told her we were going to start trying to get pregnant in January, but she started telling everyone. So we told her we're going to wait until next year, late in the year, so now she'll be more surprised. As for your other, that was talking about my mom. As for your other grandparents, I'm not sure how they will react. I'm sure they will all be happy, but yet a lot of people say it would be too soon that we haven't been married long enough. I know we are ready and that is all that matters. So what I want to do is write down everything that happens during my pregnancy so when you're older you'll know everything. Maybe I'll have twins, like my grandmother's fortune teller has always said, twin boys. She says watch you'll be a girl, not a boy or a twin. I. Just can't wait. Well, that's it for now. Maybe next time I write, it will be to announce I'm pregnant. Right now, I'm trying to think of a special way to tell your dad the good news when the time comes. I'll let you know. Ha ha. <laughs> Why? All right, so next one, January 5th, 1995. Well, your dad is gone visiting our grandma and grandpa Homer. I didn't go because I haven't been feeling well. For almost a week now, I have been feeling sick to my stomach, especially after I eat. I will have the good or bad news tomorrow. I did a home pregnancy test today and I seen a faint blue line where there was supposed to be a line. I'm not sure of the line being dark enough though. This probably will sound so stupid to you but I'm so anxious. God will have answered my prayers if I'm pregnant. It almost would be too weird that I would get pregnant the first month we try. If I am pregnant I will be due the week of my birthday September 12th. But of course you'll already know that. I'm having the test done first thing tomorrow morning at my office, because I worked at a doctor's office. I hate getting my blood drawn, but it's worth it for you. Well, I'll let you know tomorrow. Love, Mommy. January 12th, 1995. I'm pregnant. Hold on. <clears throat> that was a weird place to pause for a drink. January 12th, 1995. I'm pregnant. I found out Friday, January 6th. Sorry it took so long to write, but I have been caught up in the excitement on top of being so exhausted. I have so much to tell. First Thursday night, I was so tired, but I woke up at 5 a.m. and couldn't fall back to sleep. I was so nervous. I got up and ate a bowl of cereal because I felt sick to my stomach. I went to the office at 8 a.m. and waited for Deanna, the lab tech, to get there. Everyone at the office was wondering what I was doing because... We were temporarily supposed to be working at the hospital. I just told everyone I was visiting, although my one friend Judy knew why. She drew my blood and put a stat order on it and said I would find out within the hour. Afterwards, I went back to my office at the hospital and waited. About 45 minutes later, I got the phone call and Deanna said, you're pregnant. I said, no way, are you sure? And she said, yes, it was positive, honey. Oh my God, I can totally remember that. It's so long ago, I remember that phone call. Well, Sharon, that I work with, and also another girl named Debbie was there. She didn't say anything. She couldn't tell what the result was from my response. I started crying and she looked at me and I said, I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh, I totally remember this moment. I can picture the desk that I was sitting at and everything. I said, I'm pregnant. She said, don't you want to be? And I said, yes, but I was so happy, shocked and relieved and scared all at the same time. So then a couple of girls called me from work and congratulated me. Deanna had announced to the entire office and at first I was mad because I wanted to tell everyone but then I was too excited to get mad. On my lunch hour I went to Kmart to buy Brian, and then I put in parentheses, daddy, a gift for when I tell him, I, oh for when I tell him. I got him a bib that said, I love daddy on it. And then baby booties that said, I love grandma on them. So I came home and your dad and Gary were working on our new kitchen floor, everything. Uh, eventually Gary left and Brian was playing with Tazzy, which was our dog at the time. He said very serious to me, when you find out the results, if they're negative, I don't want you to be upset. I said, I won't be. And I had to hold back from giggling. So we went up to the bedroom and I had the little box with the bib in my hand. He kept tickling me to try to get the box from me. 
I had him sit down on the bed and I gave it to him. Before he could ever get it open, I started crying and said, I'm pregnant. I went to remember what he said. All I can remember is his face. He was so happy and shocked too. We hugged and laughed and talked for a while and then we got ready to go out to dinner. He called his dad and Patsy and told them. They were very shocked because they didn't know we were planning this. I told Brian that I had already told Rose but that we were going over their house and he could tell Ryan and Nicole their 10 month old baby. Oh yeah, cause you can tell a 10 month old. <laughs> uh, I suspect that you two will be friends someday. So we went to dinner at the Olive Garden and the whole time we talked about you. We were so happy, it felt so nice to laugh and talk about it all night long. Then we went to Ryan and Rose's house and Brian told Ryan. He didn't act real surprised, but yet he knew that we were discussing trying to have a baby. Rose helps me out a lot. She tells me a lot of stuff that I don't know from when she was pregnant with Nicole. Uh, she had a rough time her entire pregnancy and had to have an IV the entire time. Anyways, it's getting late and I'm so tired, so I'll finish up what happened the next day tomorrow. Good night. All right, so then here it was January 12th. This was January 18th. Well, a lot happened this weekend. I went from the best weekend of my life to almost the worst. It was definitely Friday the 13th. Before I tell all that happened the weekend before, I have to finish telling you about what happened when we told everyone. I don't want to forget the happy moments. The next day, Saturday, January 7th, we woke up and laid in bed for a while talking about you. We laughed a lot. lot. We got up and... <clears throat> I... We got up and it had, oh, snowed. I thought it said showed. Snowed a lot that night before. So Brian and I shoveled snow and, or so Brian shoveled snow. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. So Brian shoveled snow and I eventually went outside to play with Tazzy and take pictures of her. She loves the snow. So Gary came over with Gail and Gary and Brian left to shovel snow at his grandma and grandpa's. And so Gail and I just talked. Then my mom came over and we told them I had bought white baby booties that said, I love grandma. My grandma instantly, or my mom instantly cried and hugged me. I can still hear her saying, oh, candy. And my voices are weird. Uh, Brian's mom didn't have her glasses on and she didn't know what they said, but she figured it out. She wasn't quite as excited as my mom, but I guess everyone acts in a different way. Gary had already known because your dad had told him while they were shoveling snow. So I called both of my grandmas, your great grandma Cooper and Mosier, and grandma Mosier laughed and said her fortune teller said the baby um, said it would be twin boys born in her brother's moon and her mother's birthday is September 16th. So my grandma always used to go, my grandma that's in assisted living right now that I help all the time, she used to go to a fortune teller all the time and she likes would swear by anything that her fortune teller told her. Uh, she would tell me a lot of things through my life growing up and um, to be honest, none of them ever came true. So just FYI. <laughs> um, uh, da, da, da. Uh, so Sunday we had Chinese food and Brian's fortune was be ready good fortune comes in bunches then an hour later his grandma called and said congratulations and by the way twins runs in the family so who knows your dad and I said it would be fun to have twins but I think it would be difficult we will see well for the other good news I have been receiving gifts from my friend Judy at work she's so sweet to me so everyone is pretty excited the only bad vibes we got were from Aunt Tracy I'm sure after all this is over, she'll feel differently, but she's upset that we might ruin her wedding. Her wedding is June 10th. I'll be six months by then. She says we might draw attention away from her and her husband, future husband. I think she's just stressed about her wedding, but I can't say that it doesn't hurt my feelings. Brian's mom was the one who told us that, and she basically picked Tracy's side. Ooh, we're spilling the tea now here, guys. Oh, but then again, she always does. Whoa. Okay, well, uh, for this weekend, I'm tired and it's 11.30 p.m. and I work tomorrow, I'll write tomorrow, plus I have to call my doctor in the morning and then I'll know more of what's going on. Love, mommy. Okay, January 20th, 1995. Well, I'm not pregnant. I was going to tear this book up and throw it away, but I guess this is all part of my journey to having a baby. I feel miserable. Sometimes I don't know how to feel. I started spotting on Friday the 13th for about 48 hours. 
When I called the doctor over the weekend, I was told to take it easy and be patient. I called my doctor on Monday and they said they wanted to do another pregnancy test and then repeat it in 48 hours. Well, the first test came out negative, so either conception took place and I more or less had a miscarriage or I was never even pregnant. <clears throat> I feel so empty. I feel like I will never get pregnant for a long time. You can't even imagine how it feels to wonder if there was ever the beginnings of a baby inside of me or what happened. It makes me so upset. All these people nowadays who get pregnant and they want their babies and they don't want their babies. And here's a situation where I would give anything to be pregnant. Ashley or Erin, someday when you read this, just know one thing. You definitely were wanted. I can't wait to bring you into this world. Even though my life isn't spectacular, we are doing pretty well. Brian and I... <clears throat> Brian and I argue, but generally always get along great, and we enjoy each other a lot. I would love to have my own business someday, but it's hard to pay bills and buy extras, let alone money to start a business. I wonder where we will be when you end up reading this, where we will be working or even living. I keep saying I want to stay at this house for a long time, but who knows? Sometimes I feel so alone, like no one understands me. I couldn't list every person I know, or I could list every person I know and tell you why I feel like they aren't always there for me. Your dad is pretty good about things, but like with this particular situation, he listens to me, but I never feel like he quite understands the emptiness I feel. I do put on an act for a lot of people and pretend it doesn't bother me, but even though I only got to be pregnant or think I was pregnant for about a week, that was just long enough to fall in love with what I thought was inside of me. I already love you and you're not even conceived yet. Well, I could go on for hours about how sad I am, but what is it going to do for you? I guess this will be a part of my life and that I will never forget. All I can do is look forward to being born. Hopefully I'll be writing soon with better news than today. January 29th, 1995. Well, it's only been two weeks since I found out about my miscarriage, but it feels like two years. I guess I'm doing better, but it is so hard. I just want to be pregnant so bad. I really don't have much to say, but I guess, guess I just wanted you to know that we are still trying very hard for me to get pregnant. Hopefully soon I will have some good news. Love me. February 5th, 1995. I just want to finish this like, okay. Hi, things are looking a little better around here. I went to the doctors on Friday and she said I was definitely pregnant and I had a miscarriage. She said it's okay to try and get pregnant right away, but wait until I have a normal period. Well, I told her it might be too late for that, but she said it's okay, it's just better to calculate the due date. Oh well, if you were a boy, I bet you just love reading this kind of stuff. I found out I'm going to be in charge of my own doctor's office for all the billing and Brian may be getting a job with the city. So hopefully we are on the road to making a good life for you. We are really trying hard, who knows? Maybe I'm pregnant. February 16th. So basically, uh, not even a month. January 20th is when I said I'm not pregnant. February 16th, 1995. This will be the last one. I'm pregnant again. I was pregnant when I wrote that the other day. Isn't that weird? I ended up getting pregnant the very next month after I had a miscarriage. I'm so lucky. I wish I never had a miscarriage, but I'm so happy now. I think I'm about five weeks, even though the doctor thinks I'm only four. Of course, I have to argue with the doctor. <laughs> I'm not sure really. I had two blood tests done, one on Monday and one on Wednesday to make sure the levels doubled. It did, I was 141.8 on Monday and 297 Wednesday. I will be having an ultrasound done on either late next week or the following. I wonder if I'm having twins. I don't think this ultrasound would be able to tell. Well, we had found out I was pregnant a week ago last Thursday, but we waited until I had the blood test on Monday to tell anyone. Rose, of course, knew right away. Then we told Brian's dad on the phone again. Then we told Brian's mom at her house. She seemed more excited this time. Then we went to my mom and dad's and put my positive test in my mom's candy heart of chocolate box. Uh, she laughed and showed it to my sister and said, oh geez, and gave it to my dad who said, what is it? He didn't know we just had to tell him. Uh, he's a dork. <laughs> so he says, just tell me when the baby's born. It's so typical because he was always like, with me, my mom, and my sister, it was always like, you know, girl drama. <clears throat> so anyways, we told, <clears throat> we told the parents the day before Valentine's Day. 
for Valentine's Day, your dad got me a box of chocolate and a bear stuffed animal. I got him tickets to the Boys to Men concert on April 18th. He loves them. I've been feeling kind of sick and my chest, you know what I mean, hurts. Boy, if you are a boy or even a girl, I bet you love all this technical stuff. I'll definitely have to wait until you're much older to let you read this. Well, I'm so excited to start getting your room ready. First, I like this white with black polka dots with dinosaurs, but I thought that might be kind of girlish. How would, oh, because of the black polka dots. So then I like this Paddington Bear, but then I stopped by USA Baby and I like this Judy's Jungle, it's called. It's an elephant, giraffe, lion, and snail, and alligator. It could be for a boy or a girl, it's so cute. Or who knows, I'll probably change my mind five more times. Your dad and I are going there tomorrow to look. How exciting. I will keep you up to date. Love, mommy. All right, so February 25th. Let's see if I can get this in real quick before my camera shuts off. Well, I had one more blood test done on Friday and the level was 9,000. So everything is going great. I don't feel so good, but actually that's a good sign. I'm moving to my new office at work next week. I'm so excited. I hope they don't expect me to move anything. Brian and I went to USA Baby. He didn't like the one I had picked out. He said it was more for a girl. So he picked out a different jungle pattern that could be for a boy or girl. Your dad talks about having twins all the time. He thinks it would be so neat. I guess it would be fun, but a lot of work. I really don't mind. I'll take whatever is inside of me. Dad just got home, gotta go, love mom. All right, so we'll stop there. I don't know what you guys think. I think um, when I was reading it, it's like the whole idea of that I got pregnant and had a miscarriage like within a week. I remember through the years telling people that I was like barely six weeks pregnant when I had a miscarriage. So obviously don't get me wrong, it's enough time to have your heart broken. Um, but like, I think anybody that has gone through that would be thankful it happened early on and not, you know, much later in the pregnancy. Uh, but it was just like, oh my gosh, how dramatic I was that, oh, I'm never going to get pregnant again when it's like I got pregnant the first month I tried and I don't know, I guess just looking back, I was 22 years old. I'll give myself, cut myself some slack for being so dramatic, but, um, you know, that's, this is how I felt at the time. So. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you enjoy this? Should I keep going? Um, like I said, I have ones from the other kids, but I think I kind of probably wrote more in Andrews. I think a lot of moms do that. Things we start for one kid, we tend to not follow through quite as often with the others because you have less time on your hands, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think, if you enjoyed this or not, and if I should keep reading. I might just go ahead and record the next one, like right now, because, I don't know, I'm kind of curious of what the next, the next things that I say. So, let me know in the comments what you guys think, and um, we'll see you next time.